All right. It's day 10 in the morning, and um, we are checking out the super cool Poverty Point uh, ancient Native American civilization. So I was just reading about how it's a new in 2014. It was declared a World Heritage Site. Um, if you want to read this, just hit pause on your video. And uh, it is, here we go, Poverty Point Historic Site, prehistoric earthworks built between 1600 BC and 1100 BC by hunter-gatherers, largest and most elaborate Native American settlement of its time in North America. Okay, do we have a map? We do, yeah. it's right here. Yeah, so, we're okay. right here. So the, the curve of all the, like you can't see it. So tell me about so, these curves. Like what was, these were raised? Houses. They were raised all raised. houses. And the houses were built on top of the mounds. Yeah. Yes. Well, they were. That's probably because of this river that goes all the way around it. Yeah. That would probably flooded, flood periodically. And also Mount E, Mount A, and Mount B are all on a north south line. North -south line. Ready? Everybody ready? Get ready for the, oh, try to limber up a little bit. Good torso. Oh, Good. Supposed to be extra. And body can wrap. That looks muddy. Very, very muddy. All right. That looks like mud or chocolate milk or something. Oh, there are ants on the thing. Mm -hmm. I've had that experience. Like that bayou? Yeah, very brown. Uh, brown they town. Were lying when they were saying it looks like mud or chocolate milk or something. Hmm. Like not very chocolatey chocolate, chocolate, chocolate milk. It's like a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. No, it's more like a Just lean on in there. Chocolate. Yeah. Me videotaping you, videotaping me. I found her in the wild. Videotaping things with an iPhone. <laughs> So this is Mound A, and Mound A is the big one. It's kind of hard to appreciate how big it is in video, but it's very big. Oh, I need the map. I need to orient myself. Maps are very helpful for me. I feel like we've seen a bunch of stuff and I need to know how it all fits together. Well, so we're at Mount A now. Yeah, and we're looking at the broad side of it. And we just looked at this E, which mm -hmm. is that over there. Not super tall, but very flat. Mm -hmm. So we're thinking they built these ridges because it's very swampy here. So these raised ridges created places where the water would drain off and they could have their houses and their fire pits and everything without being in the swamp. Maybe. It's pretty wet around here. Pretty wet. There's like, you know, right there, it's just like water on the it, ground. It, this ground holds water. There she is. Miss America. Yeah. You made it to the top of Mound A, Hank. What do you think? We're 70 feet, roughly 70 feet above the surrounding land. 
feet? How many stories is that? It's so cool. Seven stories. That's what I was guessing. We did it. Oh wow. There's like a That's a big mound. What'd they say, Ella? 15.5 million loads of earth? Yeah. To build it? That'd take a while. A lot. Okay. Clovis points? Is that what they're talking about? No, not Clovis, because Clovis went to Clovis. Yeah, generally Clovis went to Clovis. But what's before the poverty? Oh, we've got people behind us. Oh, no. You're right. You know what? So, we had great weather this morning for the uh, Poverty Point um, historic uh, site. But it started raining and so it's kind of just a rainy afternoon we're getting some laundry done making some dinner and i'm just kind of cruising around checking out the poverty point reservoir uh which is pretty big and i'll just give you guys a little bit of a, a little bit of a cruise sorry that the window is so rainy maybe i'll Got all these cabins on the water that you can rent, and um, you know, obviously there's a campground. So, pretty cool spot. There she is. That movie, The Maze, the, the, the what? What is it called? It's I don't know, but your hair the is The one amazing. with David Bowie? Uh, the one we just saw? No. Oh, Labyrinth? Labyrinth. Yeah. It's a little bit like the trash lady's hair. <laughs> oh, rainy day stuff. Strapped. Mm hmm. All right. So, we are making fancy bread. This is camper living. So, we typically used to make pizza or what we call pizza fancy bread. It's, it's a little different than pizza, really. But There's it's, no cheese or meat. Yeah, so we, we went plant-based back in 2017, and so we normally, I mean, we still eat meat and cheese occasionally, but predominantly we eat only plant-based. And um, so when we make pizza, it's normally um, vegan, except our pesto always has um, mm, some cheese true. in it that Hard we get to give from up Costco. The pesto. This stuff right here, it has uh, Parmesan in it. But anyway... Um, so we didn't know whether or not we'd be able to keep up, keep up the fancy bread tradition oh, man. on the road. We used to make, basically make fancy bread every Friday and do, um, and it's Friday family date night. We'd watch a movie and make pizza. So this is our first time trying it out in the camper. We're here in Louisiana at Poverty Point Reservoir State Park. And here we go. Eileen's actually doing it. So we've got dough. We brought our sourdough. These are some of our usual toppings, of course, sauce, pesto, more sauce, sun-dried tomatoes, olives, artichoke hearts, 
um, all that going on and testing out our oven for the first time, trying not to burn anything. These goofballs are laughing at videos <laughs> that Ella has I'm gathered selected. on Pinterest. So we'll uh, keep you updated and let you know how it turns out. It's, it's going well so far. Uh, <laughs> haven't burned anything yet, so. Yet. Yet. Hopefully not. Hopefully we'll do that. Let's not do that. Let's don't. Update. Hey, so the way we're doing this is we partially it's bake the I crust first. So this crust went in first and it, it's not fully baked, but it's partially baked. And then we load it with toppings. So this one has um, onions, like an entire layer of onions on the bottom. And then olives, artichoke hearts, sun-dried tomato, and a lot of like sun-dried tomato oil. And then the other pizza is pre-baking. Pre and then we'll take it out, swap it with this one, and then we'll put toppings. We'll do uh, pesto, probably just pesto. Uh, this is vegan Parmesan cheese. It's basically ground up cashews, garlic, <laughs> onions. What else is in there? Uh, uh, yeast. Yeah, nutritional yeast. Salt. It's, and a little salt, yeah. It's and super something. delicious. It doesn't taste like oh. Parmesan cheese. Apple cider vinegar maybe? But it tastes really, really good. Yeah. We, we put it on lots and lots of stuff. All right, so first pizza's out. It's a little pale. The bottom but is well done. The bottom is, is crisp, firm, and it's gonna be good. Yeah. A lot of times we had trouble with the sun dries kind of drying out and burning, like this one right here. But this looks pretty good. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, overall it makes like four pizzas. <laughs> I'm loving this All right. pizza. So you mean here's the second pizza really? that we decided to make tonight. Wait. Pasta pizza. So we got uh, basically just pasta sauce, pesto, noodles that we already had left over in the fridge, and uh, vegan Parmesan. Boom! It's gonna be weird. All right, so Ella, everybody, how'd the pizza turn out tonight? Oh, it was so good. Yeah. I loved it. I, I'm amazed. Yeah. I didn't think it would turn out well. Crispy crust. Yeah, and it wasn't actually super messy. Yeah. Crispy crust. And it didn't burn. That's the thing you hear about these ovens, yes. these camper ovens are so small is that it burns everything, but yeah, maybe because we were so is. paranoid about it. And so anyway, super delicious. That's all that's left of the pizza. See that? <laughs> there you go. Obviously the perfect amount. Wait, did everyone get enough? Mm. Uh, I could definitely eat more, but eat more. it was good. Wow. All right, time for a movie. Yeah. Family date night. Yeah. We usually watch while we eat.